Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to convert this uniformly varying load or the trapezoidal load into a pointed or concentrated load. So let's consider this is the beam, which is a simply supported beam with a hinge and roller support and the total length of beam is 8 meter. And there is a trapezoidal load acting on the beam. The starting magnitude is 2 kN per meter and the end magnitude of the load is 8 kN per meter. So we hope to convert this load into a pointed or concentrated load. So to convert the trapezoidal load, trapezoidal load or this uniformly varying load to a pointed load or we can say to the concentrated load. So how to do this and where this load will act on the beam at which point. So the simple way to convert this trapezoidal or uniformly varying load into pointed load is first to divide this trapezoidal load into two parts. So this is a trapezoidal load so we just divide into two parts. This is the rectangular part of the load and this is the triangular part of the load. So I can say this is the rectangular or A part and this is the triangular part or B part. So we will find first the area of the A part. The area of A part or we can see the area of rectangular part. So how to find out the area of the A part? So find out the rectangle area which will be equal to the base into height. Now the base is 8 meter and height is the height of this rectangle is 2 kN per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled, we will get 16 kN. So this is the pointed load, we convert the rectangular load into pointed load. This is the pointed load, but only for the rectangular part, for the A part. And if I take the, this free body diagram for this beam, So this pointed load will act at the center of this beam, 16 kN. Why this will act at the center of the beam? Because this is a rectangular part and for the rectangular part to convert the load into pointed load, it will always act at the center of the rectangle. So the center of the rectangle is, the center of the rectangle will be the width divided by 2. 8 meter divided by 2, which will be 4 meter. So it will act it is the 4 meter from this end and 4 meter from this end. So this was the first part where we find out the A part. The area of A which is 16 kN. This is a pointed load from the rectangular part and this will act at the center of rectangle which is 8 divided by 2, 4 meter. Now what will be the B part and how we can convert the B part into a pointed load. So it will be similarly area of B which is the area of triangular, triangular load. So this is the triangular. So to find out the area of triangle, it will be equal to the half base into height. Half base is 8 meter, base is 8 meter for a triangle but this height, this height is not equal to 8 kN per meter because 2 kN per meter is the rectangle part. So 2, so 8 is the total minus 2 because 2 is the rectangular part. So it will become 6 kN per meter because we are interested in this height and this is 6 kN per meter. So this is the area of the triangle which comes out to be, if you find out this comes out to be 24 kN. Meter meter will be cancelled, we will get just 24 kN which is the pointed load from the triangular part and this load will act here at this point 24 kN now what will be the distance of this load from this end and from this end or we can say from this end and from this end what will be this distance so for a triangular it will be B by 3 from this end and from this end it will be 2b by 3. So b by 3 means 8 divided by 3. 
which comes out to be 2.67 meter. So from this in it will be 2B by 3. It comes out to be 5.33. So from this end, from the left end, it is always 2 by b by 3. If this is a triangle, so the centroid of the triangle will always act at a 2b by 3 from this end. And from the right end, it will be always b by 3. So we find out that at 2.67 meter from this end, the load of 24 kilonewton will act, which is a be pointed load. And from this end, it will be at a distance of 5.33 meter. So we divide or we convert the trapezoidal load first into two parts, A part and B part, and then we find the area of the A part, which is the will be the pointed load acting at the center of the beam, and then we find the area of B part, which is the area of the tri uh, triangle, which is the pointed load here. This is the pointed load, and we act and we show that this load will act at the centroid of the triangle. Now to find the centroid of triangle, it will act at a distance of B by three from left from right in and 2b by 3 from the left in so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video